go. It's been the build up to this one video, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Philo. Please subscribe. To Turn on your post notifications bell because you don't want to miss any of my videos. It is my WrestleMania 37 predictions video. Both night one and night two predictions video in this video. Let's get into it. Who is excited for WrestleMania? Like, my excitement for WrestleMania is at a high but low time. I'm uh, excited for it, but not really excited for it at the same time. Most of the build-ups have been good. Most of the build-ups has been meh. Most of the build-ups have been garbage. Uh, BTW Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon. That whole build-up. Ba 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 stupid. Stu 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 stupid. Stupid. The build-up of Braun versus Shane. That whole storyline. That whole feud is stu 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 stupid. Oh my gosh. Braun Strowman is so stupid. Not even stupid. So boring. Ba 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 boring. So boring. Anyway, we're here at WrestleMania 37 predictions, and let's get into it. So, let's get into the tag team turmoil match on night one. We've got Lana and Naomi, Mandy Rose and um, Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke, the Riot Squad, and Natalia and Tamina. I only see two tag teams winning this match. It either is going to be Lana and Natalia. No, Lana and Naomi winning this match. Going into night two and might even win the women's tag team championships off of Nia Jackson and Shayna Baszler. Or, my prediction to win this match is the Riot Squad. Um, I know we already saw Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus the Riot Squad, but, um, I feel like that WrestleMania moment, even if it's a win or a loss, is perfect for the Riot Squad. The Riot Squad, I feel, needs that WrestleMania moment for them, um... I feel like this match, I'm not really excited for the match as I'm the other matches, but I feel like it's going to be, I mean, a good match either way. Yeah, a good match. All right. Next match. We got Cesaro versus the Drip King, Seth Rollins. And guys... This match is going to be the best match of the whole week. Yes, I said it. The build-up has been, I'll say, I'll say good. I'll say great, actually. I've been enjoying the build-up. Seth Rollins being swung every single week. Um, Seth Rollins being in a drip. And this guy's drip has been amazing the last couple of weeks. Um, to Seth Rollins finally challenging him to WrestleMania. And guys, I would be okay with Seth Rollins winning, but something in my gut says it's Cesaro's WrestleMania moment finally. Cesaro's gonna take it home. Seth Rollins is gonna give the win to Cesaro. Next match, let's talk about the Raw Tag Team Championship match as the 11th time WWE World Tag Team Champions. The New Day defending their titles against AJ Styles and Omos. Guys, I can't wait to see the uh, gear for Omos. <laughs> um, 
I kind of imagine him coming down with the tux and everything and wrestling in that attire. But as of my prediction for that match, hands down, AJ Styles and Almost are going to be our new Raw Tag Team Champions. I'm excited to see where they're going to take them after they win the belts. Next up, we got Bad Buddy and Damian Priest going two on two against The Miz and John Morrison. And I don't know. Let's start by talking about the one on one match that was going to happen for WrestleMania. All I need to say about that match is I don't know where WWE was going with that match. Um, but I'm glad that it's a two-on-two two now. Now Damian Priest gets to have his moment, his WrestleMania moment, and John Morrison gets to do something. Maybe smash a guitar on Bad Bunny's face or something cool like that. As of the winners for this match, come on guys, since Damian Priest is in the match already, teaming up with Bad Bunny, I mean, I did, I do, I was going to predict Bad Bunny alone when it was going to be a one-on-one, -on -one, but uh, Damian Priest is in the match now, and it's Damian Priest's WrestleMania moment. It has to be Damian Priest. And Bad Bunny picking up the W against Miz and Morrison. It's gotta be. Next up is the... Shane McMahon! Going one-on-one -on -one against... Boring! Boring! Braun Strowman. I mean, we all know who's going to win this match. I'm not losing my predictions. Braun Strowman is going to win this match at a low time low. High point low. Braun Strowman is at the lowest in his career right now. He's so boring. WWE doesn't know what to do with him. And he put they put him in a feud with Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon is only doing this to have someone to push off of. Braun Strowman is only doing this to have a feud. Have something to do with... Um, to do in WWE. And it's been boring... Especially, it's a steel cage match. Dumbest, dumbest, dumbest stipulation at WrestleMania ever. Like, if they were going to do a steel cage match, might as well do a Hell in a Cell match so we can see Shane McMahon jump off of the cell. I still think... I still think Shane McMahon is going to jump off of the cage... That's the only thing I'm, uh, I, I think is going to happen. Shane McMahon um, jumping off the steel cage uh, onto the mat. Braun Strowman moves out of the way. Hits his finisher. It's over. Braun Strowman wins. That's it. Other than that, it's b b b b b b boring And let's move on because we're not talking about that five hours straight. Next up, we've got... The SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks, the hottest that she is, defending her SmackDown Women's Championship against Bianca Balor in the co-main event, I believe. Um, Sasha Banks is heel. None of us like how she's a heel. None of us like um, heel Sasha Banks. We all like face Sasha Banks. And like I always said a couple weeks back, I wish we saw face versus face. But we all know Vince likes the face versus heel um, type of thing. So Bianca is the face. 
Sasha's the heel. And uh, guys, I believe that the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble winner, Bianca Belair, is going to win this match and become our new SmackDown Women's Champion. Two things out of that go to Bianca. I feel like this match is going to be an amazing match. I feel like Bianca Belair is going to show Sasha Banks what she's made of. And the two things that come out of this match that get that helps Bianca Belair that goes to Bianca Belair. I believe I don't believe if she wins, two things come out of it. She has an amazing match with Sasha Banks. Two African American women main co-main eventing WrestleMania, which is phenomenal for both women. And two, she's the winner of that outcome, which means we are gonna have a new SmackDown Women's Champion, Bianca Belair. Next up, we've got the main event of night one as the almighty Bobby Lashley, WWE Champion Bobby Lashley, defending his championship against my man, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. We all know who's going to win this match. It's going to be Drew McIntyre, hands down. Uh, the storyline of this match, the build-up to this match, hasn't been that great. I mean, there were good stuff and bad stuff about it, but other than that, it hasn't been that great, I'm going to be honest. But uh, we all know Drew McIntyre is going to win the WWE Championship and start his third reign as WWE Champion. All I'm asking here is, we all know Drew McIntyre is going to win uh, uh, later on tonight, so, um, all I'm asking is, have Drew McIntyre hold the WWE Championship this time for a very, 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 very long time. I'm hoping for it. I mean, like, a year-long reign. Like, a, like Adam Cole's NXT Championship reign. I want that. For Drew McIntyre. And it mu must. It has to be that. I'm counting on it. For it to be that. For Drew McIntyre. Now let's talk about night two. Starting off with Asuka. The Raw Women's Champion. Taking on Rhea Ripley. For the Raw Women's Championship. Guys. I think this match is going to be great. But. Bianca Belair is going to win the SmackDown Women's Championship on night one. And on night two, it's finally going to happen. On her first night, on Monday Night Raw, Rhea Ripley is going to become our new Raw Women's Champion. And just think about that. That is history being made because... Two NXT superstars coming up to the main roster in less than a year together. Right after each other. Bianca Belair came first. Rhea Ripley is coming now. And, and now, and now, they are going to be their brand's champion. That's amazing for Rhea Ripley and Bianca Belair. I'm calling it now. It's going to be Rhea Ripley as Raw Women's Champion taking on Bianca Belair as SmackDown Women's Champion at Survivor Series this year. Rhea, Rhea Ripley for the dub. Next up, we got the United States Champion Matthew Riddle taking on Sheamus for the U.S. Championship. All I gotta say for this match is Sheamus is gonna win the U.S. Championship again. And maybe when when he loses the U.S. Championship, maybe down the line, maybe at SummerSlam, uh, he's going to win the WWE Championship. 
Yeah. Yes. But for my prediction for right now, Sheamus is going to become our new U.S. champion. Next up, we got the Intercontinental Champion, Big E, taking on Apollo Crews for the Intercontinental Championship in a Nigerian drum match. Now, I don't know what a Nigerian drum match. I'm just happy that the match has a stipulation. But I'm also disappointed in WWE because I actually wanted a 2 out of 3 falls match. I thought it was perfect for their feud right now, especially because they had two match or three, four matches already for the Intercontinental Championship, and they all ended in controversy, either them arguing about the finish or um, a roll-up or Apollo Crews uh, taking down Big E. I, I thought it would have been perfect for their storyline right now. But I'll take a Nigerian drum match. I think it's going to be unique. And uh, one of the... One of the unique matches in WrestleMania history. My prediction for the match. WWE, please give it to... Uh, now, you can give it to Apollo Crews. My prediction... Uh, we're going to have a new Intercontinental Champion, Apollo Crews. Next up, we got the Women's Tag Team Championship match. Nia Jackson, Shayna Baszler defending against the winners of the Gauntlet Tag Team match. Or uh, Fatal 4-Way Tag Team match. In my winners were the Riot Squad. And guys... I'm going to say, if the Riot Squad win, I'm going to pick the Riot Squad winning the Women's Tag Team Championships. I feel like it's going to be so huge for the Riot Squad. Not to mention, they need this WrestleMania moment for them. But if, I mean, if it's Lana and Naomi, then they're going to win. If it's the Riot Squad, they're going to win the Women's Tag Team Championships. But my prediction for the Gauntlet Eliminator match is the Riot Squad. So therefore, for the Women's Tag Team Championship match on Night 2, I got the Riot Squad winning the Women's Tag Team Championships. Not really excited for that match. Not hyped for it. But excited to see it maybe a little bit. Next up, we got Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn with the involvement of Logan Paul. This is another storyline that I don't care for that is stupid, like Braun Strowman. It's so dumb. I, it's so dumb. We can clearly tell that Logan Paul doesn't care about Sami Zayn's, um conspiracy theory against him and doesn't really care about Sami Zayn and we can tell that Sami Zayn's the one that brought Logan Paul in this that forced him in this and all Logan Paul is here for is to help Kevin Owens win at Wrestlemania my prediction for the match is Kevin Owens to win and beat Sami Zayn I don't see Sami Zayn winning and uh yeah but Overall, I think this match is going to be fire, is going to be lit, is going to steal the show. Next up, we got one of the matches that I'm most looking forward to as I thought this match was going to have a stipulation. I guess not. I guess we're going to find out tomorrow night. But The Fiend has risen. Has come back by the powers of Alexa Bliss and is going to take on the legend killer, the, the man himself, Randy Orton, in the one final bout. And guys, I believe to end it all off, Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, is going to win this match. 
uh, um, stipulation or not, The Fiend is winning tomorrow night at WrestleMania night two. Next up, we got the main event. As the Universal Champion, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns defending his championship against the the yes 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 the leader of the yes movement Daniel Bryan and the rated R superstar Edge and uh yeah this match was Edge versus Roman Reigns in a one on one match. But Daniel Bryan weaseled himself into the match. Triple threat match. As we all knew, uh, Daniel Bryan was going to be in the match. And all that means for us, all that is telling us is that Daniel Bryan, I mean, all that's telling us is that you guys are complaining about Re uh, Roman Reigns being pinned at WrestleMania. So what did WWE do? They added Daniel Bryan. They gave him another title shot. They're giving him a title shot at Mania. And all that means is Edge is going to pin Daniel Bryan. Which means we have a new Universal Champion, Edge. Which means that he pinned Daniel Bryan. And which means... Roman Reigns still hasn't been pinned yet, therefore he's still dominant on SmackDown, and maybe, just maybe, at SummerSlam, Roman Reigns might become the next Universal Champion again. But I'm not counting on it, I'm not counting on it. If Edge wins the Universal Championship, I want... A long reign for him. He deserves it. He never lost the World Heavyweight Championship in the first place. He came back last year. Beat Randy Orton. Beat, uh, he had a feud with Randy Orton. Uh, almost a year long feud with Randy Orton. It was sick. He, he left. He got injured by Randy. Uh, after Backlash. And then came back at this year's Rumble. At number one. And outlasted 29 other men, which means he won the Royal Rumble. Going to WrestleMania, headlining WrestleMania, and getting back what he never lost. Guys, I'm not thinking about Edge. I don't see it as Edge turning heel. I see it as Edge doing whatever he has to do to get back his championship that he never lost. Even though he is heel, I love him as a heel than a face because face Edge, yes, he is still the rated R superstar. But heel Edge, all that's telling us that he is, in fact, the rated R superstar anyway guys comment down below what you guys think of the show what you guys are predicting for what you guys are most looking forward to comment down below all that good stuff i'll see you guys in my next video actually see you guys in my reactions video for wrestle Mania Night 1. Please like, comment, share. Hopefully you guys are enjoying, uh, enjoyed. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all this content that I uploaded for you guys this whole entire week. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. What did you guys think of NXT TakeOver Stand and Deliver Night 1 and Night 2? Comment down below because I really want to know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reactions for TakeOver. Hopefully you guys also enjoyed the reactions for WrestleMania. Um, 
Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Enjoy WrestleMania!